day, I am mostly a Humvee mechanic and a painter and decorator. But first of all, you've got to do a bit to your Humvee. Now, why I bought this Humvee, I'll never know. I will never know. I've had many Humvees. They've all been awful. Why did I get another one? But anyway, if you're having a Humvee, you've got to have the aerials. And a very nice man just dropped these aerials off to me. Now, these are kind of posh ones, and you can, you don't have to bend them the whole way. You can kind of, well, kind of point them forward and then strap them down. Pretty good. And I've got these extenders. I don't know why I'm putting these extenders on. I suppose it's because I've got them. If you've got them, you've got to use them. You can't just leave them laying in the great big box. And I've got bloody loads of Humvee spares and Humvee parts, tons of it. So I thought if I buy a Humvee, I can use some up. Now, the next thing is I've got a number plate, HUM15T, and it looks like hum first. Well, let's be honest, there's no hummer that's ever going to be first, but it would look cool. And I'm slowly in the process of putting on retention from a motorbike, and then I'm going to plonk it on this. And then I think Battleship Grey with a bit of kind of computer generated little dots all over it, and that might look really cool. I don't like my number plate there because it keeps catching on my uh, tailgate, but that is where the number plate light is. So I'm a bit knick-knack there as well. Um, yeah, it's coming on. My most important thing is the child seat in the front for Jackson. And he loves sitting up the front. And it's, you know, it's just, just not practical putting him in the back. It'd be dangerous, I think. So there we go. That's your Humphrey. Um, it's very hot. It's very slow. When it rains, water pisses in everywhere. It's incredibly noisy, it gives you a headache. Um, it gets stuck pretty easy. And if you turn tight, you can break the um, half shafts. Oh, and if you go over a bump, then um, it tends to uh, make the front drip drop, uh, diff drop out. But apart from that, you know, they're, they're just great. Oh, and it's huge and you can't park it anywhere. It's very thirsty. And um, it only takes four people. Yeah. Apart from that, though, it's just brilliant. And, of course, anything you want for it parts-wise is um, astronomical. But I have been thinking about using it for rabbit shooting. And you see that big hole in the middle? You could sit with your legs coming through the front of that on some kind of special seat. And, my God, you could roar around blasting rabbits. So, Willie Earlham, if you've got any rabbits and you're watching this, let's do some rabbits it's a beauty now it wasn't the neatest welding but it was the cleverest wrapping and all in all it hardly shows and um yeah i could have put a new one on but new ones are hard to find and uh i don't want to waste them on something i can repair and it's like that with all the military stuff now we're trying to repair everything rather than use our spare stock it's looking very red massive ferguson red the man no fast man fast man mog he calls it fast fan mog. The fast fan mog. I say HX Avenue. No, fast man mog. Mine sounds more commercial. Yeah, I know, but fast man mog's catchy. It rolls off the tongue better. Like you a pig. Looking good, looking well, good. I've just had a um, donation of periscopes. And uh, thank you very much, buds. Because there's one, two, three, four, five drivers day scopes. CVRT. And there's one, two, three. I think there's one in there as well. Four night vision CVRT. And then um, a bunch of cupola and that kind of thing. Oh, and some shackles. We're always breaking shackles. Ashley, there for you. Um, so it's all looking very good. Um, it's all right having a tank or an armoured vehicle, but if you haven't got a periscope, you're a bit knackered, aren't you? Not much you can do, really. I mean, the bowels, the bowels of all the shit and everything else. I'm making these out of a piece of steel. And the idea is to make a nice little hooky thing and I found this, um, I've got loads and loads of packets of these. I've got tons and tons of CET spares and it's some sort of rubber seal. But I reckon if I put that in there and then sort of squeeze it up, I can make um, an aerial kind of catcher. That's the idea anyway. So a bit of jiggery pokery and it might be quite nice. I could buy one and wait six weeks and pay about 90 quid each room. I thought I'd have a little play. Making one of anything is pretty easy. It's making two and you're making the other one to look like the first one. Otherwise, um, you have to keep in there wobbling your aerials. Otherwise, um, you know, they can't sort of notice there's a bit of a difference between them. Oh, I reckon if I squeeze that up, that'd be pretty cool. Let's try. <laughs> this is Finn, who has been collecting donations for um, Ukraine. And uh, it's just been given this. 
Toyota Amazon. You couldn't do any better. Amazing. So just some was rich good? British guy has had it for his run around 150,000 miles. Toyota Land Cruiser. Nothing on a Toyota. Let's have a look at the inside. Is there blood all over the interior? There's got to be some dark mystery somewhere. Yeah. They asked me for blood donations. I bought them a bucket full and all I'm getting is questions. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, it's really nice. My mate's got one of these. Willie Earlham. Willie Earlham has one of look, look, these. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, no. Not television screens. The back of the seat. Oh, no. They'll be using those. Yeah, porn. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. It's a lovely machine. Yeah, yes, I could swap this for a Range Rover. Just tested. Just tested on the Tanks a Lot off-road course. Yeah, and it's still here. Look at the engine. It's V8. Yeah. Petrol. Yeah, you don't really like petrol out there, do you? Yeah, but land cruiser. Yeah. This is true. Yeah, never look a gift horse in the bottom. <laughs> a bit of me area was on, and I'm sure they'll make a nice clanking noise as I go along, and every now and again they'll ping off, and I go round a corner, and it will swing out and catch some bloke under the throat, and they will say it was the worst case of van aerial disease I've ever seen in their life. But um, all in all, oh, I think it looks a bit cooler. Now those straps I put on that are in the uh, kind of blue and green, that's just what we get on the quad bikes that come from the army. So that is purely a temporary measure. And uh, we will do something more splendiferous. In fact, I've actually sprayed them already. So uh, yeah, it won't be long until they're dry and we'll pop them on. I don't know why they have them aerial extenders. I don't know, I don't know. I would like to do something clever on the uh, wing mirror because every time you open the door, it hits the wing mirror and you have to readjust it afterwards. Not the cleverest idea I've ever, th I've ever seen in my life. But there you go, it's a Humvee. Designed by idiots, made by idiots. Driven by technicians who have to constantly do little things to them to make them better. We're getting there, bit by bit. A happy wife is a happy life. Kate's Jim. It's finally taking shape. Are you happy, darling? Yay! Is it good? It's awesome. Is it good? It's got an emergency stop. If you fall off the treadmill, hit the stop with your head. Okay? With It'll work. Head. Now, this is going to be the path. This is the hardcore. Now, it's got two sets of steps, and it's partly painted. I'm shuggering along with a little brush. My big brush got used for the toilets and never cleaned out. And um, that's life. We took the door off to get the treadmill in. And we met a very nice lady in Brackley and she had one of these. And she had one of them. And um, that's a B day for um, keeping your bum from uh, non-sweaty. And uh, oh, I've got a light out up there. But all the lights work and all the sockets work and um, the uh, fans are working. You couldn't ask for more really, could you? Um, she might let me use it. So I might not be as chubby as I used to be. I might lose me tummy, which costs a lot of money. And um, who knows, I could become like Ashley, all lean and lean and mean.